Okay, we're going to start on Project Snake Oil. So maybe one of our final mods to the truck for, for now. And this could actually work or not work, I guess. I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to find out. All right, what you see in front of you are adapter plates to adapt an LT4 supercharger to an LT1 style head. So these are normally used like if you have a naturally aspirated Camaro, uh, LT1 Camaro, you can bolt these plates on it and then bolt the supercharger on top of that and it'll allow these, you know, allow you to, to adapt the supercharger because the bolt pattern is different. And I had originally bought these because I intended to put an LT4 supercharger on the truck because I was looking around and said, man, these things are super cheap, man, I can do it cheap. But after I did a little bit more research, the reason they were cheap is because they were the I can't remember if it's the wet sump or the dry sump model. Anyway, there was the ones that the cheap ones were the ones that nobody wanted because you really couldn't adapt them to anything. So I'm gonna wait a while. I'll probably wind up supercharging sooner sooner or later when the you know the LT4 stuff will drop in price like the LSA stuff did. So anyway, what we're gonna use them for is spacer plates for the intake manifold. These are half inch thick, so it's gonna add a little height to our to our manifold. Maybe we'll pick up some torque or something like that. Who knows? We're going to give it a shot anyway. And, oh, one other thing. If you are going to adapt the LT4 supercharger to an L86 or L83 in a truck, you cannot use these plates. I jumped the gun on these two. These are not, these are, will only allow, these are half inch thick and they only work with the car accessories. So they'll work on a Camaro, but they won't work on a truck. The truck uh, plates are much thicker for the truck accessories. So that's just one thing I want to throw out there. So do not buy these. You know, I think the other ones are probably about twice as thick, maybe. But uh, do, do not buy these. These, do, these will not work anyway. So anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these plates uh, to add a half inch in height to the, to the manifold, basically. And when I first looked at it, I said, oh man, that's easy. Just get some longer bolts and we'll just sandwich it in between the manifold and the head and get on down the road. But the more I started looking, the more I started playing with it, these ports, when you, even when you have them bolted down, they tend to move around. And I'm afraid that if you just start trying to sandwich stuff, you know, you could have this off the head and the manifold off of this, so you can have all kinds of port mismatch and everything else. And what these things are, how they're usually installed, they have these O-rings. They come with these O-rings, and you put them in these grooves, and then you take these short short bolts, bolt them to the head, so you can line it up with the head real easy and then bolt it down and then you bolt your manifold on top. Well that's, that'd work out great because you could line this up and you can kind of line the manifold up. But it really won't work on here because we got to run the bolts all the way through. So instead of using these, these uh, O-rings, we're not even going to bother with these, we're just going to basically glue it to the head with some of this right stuff. If you ever use this stuff, it's Incredible. It has some incredible strength. It's, 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 it's unlike any like uh, silicone or anything like that. It's I put oil pans on it with and with it, and you almost have to use a crowbar to get them off. So we're going to glue them down. We're just going to we're just you know run our right stuff in here, and then we'll we'll bolt it down with these small bolts until it dries, so we can get all our ports and stuff lined up, and then we'll drop our manifold on on top. But it's even. It's, it's not that easy even yet because I was looking at the manifold and let's, this is the this is the 5.3 manifold which is a, pretty much identical to the L86 when it comes to mounting and oh yeah, I walked up to it I said well this is going to be no problem at all Just plate goes like this I'll put my bolts through no problem and that would be fine except when I got to the other side of it there's a little plastic alignment dowel right here. And I didn't even know these were even on here, but that's what aligns this whole manifold with the head. Sort of. Um, I've since measured this and measured the hole in the head, and there's quite a bit of play, so it's not really too precise, but you'll see that if you try to put this down on there, it won't fit because there's not a hole right here in the plate. You'll see that you know it fits down in the hole just fine but there needs to be another hole you know, right here in the top for that to index in. 
So, <sighs> there's several options to do here. You know, I thought about, you know, and these are on an angle. The hole has to be drilled at like a 45 degree angle. And I have a drill press, but I just don't think there's any way you can do it with a drill press. You'd have to have a, a, a mill with an end mill bit to, to even get it started. Because you have to, you know, if you put it on a drill press with a regular drill bit, it's going to chatter. There's no way you're going to drill it perfect. So, you know, I don't know how precise it has to be. I don't want to spend a bunch of money on this project. And I think probably what I'm going to do is just drill this out. This whole thing just drill, you know, 90 degree in here with a big ass hole. And we'll line it up. We'll try to get it as close as we can. At least we'll, at least this, the plate to the head will be port matched for sure. But we'll just try to get the manifold close. I think we can do it if I have some of these longer. Anyway, I got some really long LS bolts in here. And I think that if we run this, run them down into the hole and screw them in, we can, tr the hole up here is really big in these manifolds. Let me show you. And it's got a lot of play. You can see that when you put the bolt in there, there's just tons of play. But I think if we run those bolts up through it, where they're sticking out the top like that, we can kind of move the manifold around and center it up right on the bolt hole and then unscrew them and then put the right the 65 millimeter bolts. That's another thing. I had to order these bolts because I didn't have any bolts that were exactly the right size. But I've, I've done the math on it. Here's the bolts that were in the, in the manifold. You need them 65 millimeter. And I bought these from East Coast Bolts on eBay, like $10. And I bought these, I don't know, I call them, I'm just like, use them on a lot of the import stuff. Kind of a washer type deal because they need to be kind of big to you know there's a hole in that manifold it's pretty big but anyway um that's what we're going to do we'll just pull the other bolt we'll try to get it centered up as much as we can on these these really long bolts right here and then we'll just pull unscrew them and then screw it back down hopefully it'll draw it straight down on the thing and everything will line up pretty good if it doesn't it doesn't it's not a big deal i mean the plates will still be usable even with the hole it's not a big deal you know, I thought about throwing them up on eBay. I only paid up. I paid a hundred bucks for them. They weren't exactly cheap, and they're two hundred dollars if you have to buy them new. So, you know, you, <laughs> you got to really uh, want to do it for that much. And the and the ones that adapt uh, for the truck accessories, I think they're like five hundred bucks or something like that. I was like, holy crap! Because you know, you got two of them, probably you know, twice as thick. So it'd be something like that, I guess. So it's anyway. It has nothing to do with this. So I'm going to go ahead and strip it down. And I'm going to, I guess, like I said, I'll just drill a big hole in there just because I can't drill an angled hole. I'd, I'd be nice to go to a machine shop and have them do it, but I don't, you know, tell them what they, they you know, this whole thing will cost more than the plates. And I don't know if this is going to do anything anyway. I'm just basically plain at this point. But, and there's one other thing we're going to have to do. We're going to have to extend, you know, that little PCB those that'll have to be done to this by a half inch so I'll just cut it and then splice it back with a piece of hose it's easy enough all right let me get let me get this thing let me get the plates drilled first and then I'll undo the manifold go from there it ain't pretty but I got it I guess it really matters should do that all right let's give it a shot all right there it is all test fitted up I don't know if it'll do anything but it sure looks badass still got plenty of room right there I went ahead and left the uh, insulation out I think I'm just gonna leave it out entirely I think it'd be way better off just to cool everything under there. Only th thing is that uh, insulation four is just noise. I read it, read about it on the internet. It's not a not anything for heat, just noise. All right, and everything fits. Surprise, fits pretty good. It really doesn't move around at all. Huh. All right, I still need to glue the plates down. So I guess I'll do that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Looks mean. All right, let me glue these plates. All right, it's getting late. Uh, real simple, just glued them on. Just put the right stuff uh, you know, around the ports. And glued them on, you can, I don't know if you can see. It's a little excess I'll have to cut off or pull off or whatever inside the ports, but not a big deal. I had to loosen up the, uh, back there in the back, I don't know if you can see it, but where that fuel line is connected to the valve cover, I had to unbolt it, set it on top of the uh, plate. What enough room. But we'll let it dry and pop the manifold on and see what happens. All right, here it is, all back together again. Uh, got late last night, and I want to make sure that that uh, that glue was dry before I went and plopped the manifold back down on there. But uh, I guess I'll drive it around and see if uh, it did anything at all. I'm guessing if it did anything, it probably wouldn't do much, but I do like the fact that this area right here is, you know, open where I can get a lot of cool airflow, or airflow in general. And I just, I left the uh, fuel pump insulation out. So, I guess I'll drive around and see what, see what, see what she does. Okay, I just got back from giving her a giving her a whirl with our uh, poor man's high rise manifold. And if there's a difference, it's so subtle that uh, it's definitely not seat of the pants. Um, I don't. Yeah, I never did a, a follow up on the uh, manifold switch from the uh, 5.3 manifold to the 6.2. That, I can guarantee you, was definitely a seat of the pants uh, difference. Um, I'm almost tempted to put it back on the dyno just to see uh, how much difference it made, because it, it, it definitely made a huge difference. I don't know if that was because of the, the uh, totality of my mods. You know, that's the last thing I did, you know, after the headers, after, you know, the intake and all that stuff, uh, the cold air intake and uh, the cam and all that stuff so maybe that just enhanced all of that you know if you were just to just to bolt the manifold on on a stock truck would it do anything i don't know but i can tell you for sure that it made a huge difference on uh on this one so i'm not ready to call this uh call the uh manifold plates complete snake oil but i i certainly can't feel anything i don't think um nah i can't say that i do so, I don't know if it's, like I said, I don't know if it's a myth or not, but uh, it definitely uh, didn't seem to be seat of the pants. So that's it for that, uh, that truck for now. I can't think of anything else. I was going to do gears, but uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. I was looking online. Uh, I really don't want 411s, and it looked like that uh, the only gears they made for this 9.5 rear end jump from 373 all the way to 410 or 411 and I didn't really want to I don't want to make that big jump I would prefer to stay like in the 380 somewhere 385 but uh, that's it all that's it that's it on this old girl so uh, uh, the next item of business is to get this uh, thing back in order I've been kind of putting her off for a while and what it really needs is, as you can see, the headliner redone. And I went on eBay and I bought, you know, a, the material to do it. And you'd say, oh, well, you know, the uh, headliner, you know, 32-year-old car. Well, sure, it's going to need a headliner. But no, this is a second one. <laughs> this is a second headliner. This is, this uh, headliner and this one has actually uh, got the plastic, the ABS plastic behind it. So I think it'll be easy to redo. It's not that foam stuff that crumbles and breaks and all that stuff. So I ought to be able to just peel off this old uh, headliner material and uh, you know spray the glue down and roll it out. It should be okay. I hope. This is the material I bought. It wasn't very expensive, like $20 or so. I've had it around here a while. It's been too lazy and other stuff to do. And then I'm going to... Uh, I'm just going to do some 
basically some routine maintenance, probably a little bit beyond routine maintenance. I'm going to pull the valve covers and readjust the rockers. Um, just get her in you know, general running. These, this one uh, has adjustable uh, rocker arms on it, shaft mounted rockers. So, and just clean it up. It's real dusty under the hood. Maybe you can't see it on camera, but it needs to be touched up. And that'll be that. I don't know if I'll make any videos about it unless somebody wants me to. I'm gonna, there's not much to it. I'm just going to you know, pull the valve cover up. You really got to, this thing is, with these tall valve covers, you've got to damn near take the alternator off just to get It's kind of a pain, but it has to be done. I want to make sure that my, my valve lash is okay. Or preload, whatever you want to call it on the hydraulic. So, and then, my next plan is to sell this little car and bring the cutlass back over here, the, the LS cutlass. And how do we get? I don't know, maybe I'll throw up some, some videos in between. I got uh, a few little projects that I'm working on. Other than that, that's it. Alright guys, like I said, the, the manifold swap, the 5.3 to 6.2, definitely do it. I mean, if you, if, I'm, I'm not saying to do it if you have a bone stock truck, but if it's got any mods at all, I think it's well worth it. And uh, as far as those, uh, those plates, eh, I don't know about that. Let me drive around a little bit more before I say anything about that. At this point, I'm saying no. <laughs> so, so... That was just, I think we might have done the Mythbuster on that. But, uh, anyway, carry on.